Well, hey there, folks. This is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. But not today. It's raining, and it's in the low 80s because of the rain, and we've had rain for a few days, and that's just wonderful. We have been so dry, but now the problem is it's supposed to rain all week, and I want to harvest honey at the end of the week. Well, you saw it at the beginning. I got it. A Hillco extractor. The Ultra Max 18 frame extractor. I am really excited. It is June 27th. I got this thing a couple weeks ago, wasn't it? No, about 10 days ago. It came. And you know how I tell you this is not a how-to video, it's a how I do video? There's a good reason for that. Even this unboxing is not a how-to video. Because you know how I did it? <laughs> I couldn't even do it. I've never done an unboxing video. And I didn't get it right. I've already unboxed it. And you guys weren't here. I actually did do a video. Honestly. I really didn't mess up that bad. What happened was. My settings on my camera were still set up from the live the other night. When I uh, jumped on real quick for uh, a little fill-in spot on the stream team. And I never set it back. So the video came out horrible. So there you go. Don't do uh, unboxing the way I do it. <laughs> I did it wrong. But it's unboxed. So it's still what we'll call it an unboxed video. How about that? All right, I'm excited. Let me tell you why I'm excited. My plan for this extractor was for next year. Okay? I've got an electric Maxent uh, six frame that holds six mediums only or three deeps. And it will hold the deeps, have to go tangentially. And you have to stop and flip them and all that. It's a great little extractor. Heads work great, still work great, was planning on using it this year, no problem. No issue at all. Uh, but knew I wanted to move up eventually. And next year my plan was the Hillco uh, 18 frame extractor. It is the Ultramax series. I saw it, I didn't see him at the Hive Life. And I, I didn't even look at him at the Hive Life. Wasn't even, really wasn't paying attention to extractors. I didn't have extractors on my mind at that time. Then I saw his video, and then I saw it in person when I was up there. Y'all saw my video, most of y'all being up there, and my plan was for next year. But things worked out in such a way that my wife and I talked about it, and we decided to go ahead and pull the trigger uh, and get it this year because of how things were lining up for us, and we were still, you know, three to four weeks ahead of harvest. We knew we could get it in time. We, we pulled the trigger and we got it on the way. Now, I will do a full review of it as far as when the honey is extracted, okay? This is just the unboxing section. I will review what I find and what I like and dislike or good or bad or indifferent or whatever after I've used it on honey. But I wanted to show you as I unboxed it what I found, how it came, what I think about it. And this is this and the video that I do as far as its performance is not going to be a head-to-head -head against my Maxent. First of all, they're apples and oranges. One's 18 frames and one is, is six. Second, I have no gripes with my Maxent extractor. I've just outgrown it. Okay, I've outgrown it. So it came with these legs in this box on top. Had some padding on the top. This thing arrived with no damage to the top whatsoever. Everything is assembled. All you have to do is pull the uh, protective plastic off like like what's on this one you just pull that off peel that back um, and you have to put the legs on um, six bolts you he's got a nice instruction booklet I don't have it out here with me just lift it up on a couple uh, deep boxes or supers on their long end and that's high enough you can well I put it up on a 30, 35 gallon drum and just bolt the legs on it was quick and easy I actually took me what five minutes to bolt them on that's done. It's assembled. It's over with. You're done. You're ready to go. Uh, you do have to wash it out. I do recommend washing it out just because of the assembly process and the manufacture of the, of, of the parts and everything. So it has a totally different bottom than the other extractors. Yes, it's conical. You hear me echo? It's conical. Yes, it's conical. But the top, I mean the back, is higher than the front of the conical. So the bottom actually slopes even though it's conical. So when I washed it, all the water in the back immediately ran to the front. 
that is nice uh, free spinning as far as the gear and then it takes off I'll plug it in and show you in a minute I don't know about this gate yet I'm still figuring that out I mean I'm not figuring it out it's pretty simple it's a spring loaded keeps the tension on it don't know how sold I am on that but I gotta see it work first it definitely is stainless steel I like that um, nothing worse than getting a high dollar piece of equipment with a plastic gate valve on it again I'm not comparing I'm not gonna compare but that was disappointing in my old product but anyway legs are super sturdy uh, bolt holes to bolt it down these rubber stops to hold it in place don't know if it's gonna work as big as it is um, without being bolted down but I will find out I'm pretty good at balancing my old one and this thing runs so steady without anything you can see this it's below it's below the fl the the bottom the rim the bottom rim okay that is key you don't have to tip it to get it out better view inside hopefully you can see it it's down below it's beveled it goes right down still has a big ball bearing like my old one does um so the bearing is in there comes greased ready to go but here's the deal i don't have to pull the ball bearing and grease it it gets greased right here so you put it back together pump two pumps of food grade grease in there and it circles the entire ball bearing it's done all right, up top, I am finding things that are better on this one than my old one, but again, I'm not trying to do a comparison because I do love my Maxent, and Maxent is a, a great extractor. Uh, I'm never going to knock them on my equipment's Maxent. But there are some things that are better, but I don't want to compare. So obviously, I'm talking about this. I think this is better, but I like this because it's a screw, a Phillips head, and a 14 millimeter. You just undo it. The whole thing comes off. You pull the reel. You wash out, you clean it. Let's fire this thing up. It's booting up real quick, by the way. Then when it's there, it's booted up, and you got a blinking green light. That means it's off. Um, you saw in the one video, I like that little clip. Holds my lid up. We'll shut it. If it had been emergency stopped, you just have to twist your emergency stop. Now it's ready to turn on. You just hit the on button. Little fan clicks in. And you turn this knob. You get the hertz going up. Look how smooth this thing is. That thing is it's solid. I mean, it's just as steady, um, smooth. It's very smooth action, but it's not herky jerky. But we're gonna find out how it works with honey. Hopefully soon in a week. So it's a one. It's a three-phase motor. Runs on 110 through the power supply, and this thing only draws 2.9 amps, or basically three amps. So yeah, it's a, it's 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 a really nice little setup. Of course, all of a sudden I'm spinning it and I'm spinning it and. Something happens, the frame gets loose, gives way, something, because I don't fasten them properly. The whole motor's off. It's all off. Emergency stop. I do like that. I don't. Ho I hope I don't ever use it, but anyway. Other than that, I can't think of anything else, guys. Uh, we reset it. There it goes. You gotta turn it back on because it's blinking. Once it's once you turn it on, that light goes solid. You can hear a fan go, and you're back. You're back up and running. All right, turn it off. Done deal. We unplug it. Now I've never dealt with a three-phase motor that is 110. I've only dealt with the uh, 240s and the 480s that we used offshore. Uh, and you know, we always wired them backwards, they spun the wrong way, and it's all over. But what I do know is they're a good heavy duty motor, and that is a heavy duty motor. That, that thing is heavy duty. So, what they're telling me is uh, with this motor, according to what Hilco says, it does not get hot. There's a particular brand out there from one of the main bee houses that I go and harvest with, with fellow YouTubers and friends, so you might can figure out who that is. And that particular motor, you have to really get the, and it is a 48 frame, don't get me wrong, but you have to spin the 
thing to get it moving and get it going and still that motor gets so hot that if you touch it it will burn you or the hillco that doesn't we shall see i i the thing has a warranty on it four years on the top end basically on all the gears and everything else 10 years on the rest of it he backs it i'm happy i'm excited we got it a year early because it just worked out that way and i'm happy so we'll see hopefully we'll be spending honey in this thing here in another few days if the rain will quit and if the honey is dried out if not i'm bringing it here with the dehumidifier and see if we can dry some of it i want to get it off the hives and start getting my assessments done so honey this week at a minimum something's coming in here gotta get some honey going gotta get some honey moving gotta get honey moving oh by the way guys i'm not selling my maxent <laughs> two people asked me already one of y'all knows who y'all actually both y'all know who you are <laughs> i'm uh, i'm keeping it um who knows you know one day may scale back down i'd rather have my small one plus you know it can possibly be a loaner maybe maybe not i don't know it can be a loaner to certain people or certain beekeepers that are getting started i don't know we'll see plus it's got all those cool stickers so there might be a few of you on here watching hmm 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 just a few of y'all i kind of need some new stickers gotta dress up the hillco right i think i might have my first one right here I think I got a dirt rooster one right here too, somewhere. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this quick review. You will be seeing more on this extractor as soon as I can get it running, and I will give it a fair shake. I will do that. I'm not going to compare it, though. I'm not going to compare it. They're two different beasts. Two different beasts. I appreciate all you guys. I really do. Your support is sometimes just so overwhelming. Matter of fact, it's most times overwhelming because sometimes I wonder... How is this happening? I go up here and I see the views and the comments. And I'm like, wow, you guys are amazing. I really, really appreciate you guys so much. I really do. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful evening. And may God bless you. We'll see you all later.